I believe you're well and you had a wonderful night. Today is our last uh, topic in regard to faith. And I'm going to read from the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 11, and I'll read from verse 32. It says, And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions and quenched the fury of the flames. This is the word of God. Indeed, today as I end, somebody could be wondering, why would this pastor insist so much on faith? And today, I would want us to understand why faith is important. And the first one is that faith is important because it helps us to experience God. We experience God in terms of tapping into his blessing. James chapter 5 verse 15 says that a prayer made in faith makes the sick well and if he sins his sins would be forgiven that's a great blessing to be forgiven of your sins to be made well out of a sickness and this is an experience that we can only have through faith of course faith also ex ex help us to experience god and give us victory the text that i've just read tells us of very many bible characters that god gave different kinds of victory and of course, faith is also good enough to sustain us in the midst of pain and challenges. You remember Stephen? It took faith for him to withstand the stoning and the persecution that he went through. The second thing is that faith enhances our connectivity with God. Beloved, I don't know whether, whether, uh, whether you know where God lives. I don't know whether you have God's telephone number. Can you be able to see him? or even touch him physically of course we can't that which makes us be connected with god is faith and therefore pursue faith because it is important may the lord grant you 